All right, let's get some quick video here. Uh, we're using Google Earth, and we're looking. At, and what you're going to put the search for is Desert Research Experimental Station, comma Utah, and then you'll get. Uh, it'll bring you up to this map here. Now it's showing you that the actual Desert Research Experimental Station is in the center of this triangular shaped uh, informal. Uh, region here in the desert actually that is not the desert research experimental station but that is probably the entrance to the underground cavern where the crash ship is supposedly a ufo crashed here in the 50s i think it was either if i'm correct it was 1953 now the actual dress here's the funny thing you come over to the road over here let's go ahead and remove this a little bit come over here there's a there's a road you're going to follow it so you get to a crossroads right here see now you're going to keep going to the left and keep following it and you're going to see this little section that's going to branch up here and it's going to take you to the actual desert research experimental station yeah. I need to move over a little bit here sorry and as you can tell it's a cul-de-sac type layout and you can see the houses the other structure buildings um, not the best detail, but uh, a very dark tiled roof specifically for the reasons they will not show up with a lot of detail from the sky. This station was, estab uh, uh, was established during the 30s to do experimental research. If I'm correct, it was during the... Uh, I'm going to say it was the Hoover era, and uh, the station has been maintained and modified ever since by the federal government. Um, there's a very excellent documentary on it where Linda Moulton Howe went and uh, investigated the entire area. Uh, the building structures are actually the, the older structures are still in place, but they they've replaced all the doors with brand new doors, framing. Uh, some of the siding's been redone, uh, brand new doors with locks. So uh, the the uh, the station is being maintained, and uh, a lot of the structures are partially buried, which tells you that there is a a probably larger underground station underneath there. And the uh, theory is that there is a tunnel running underneath from here, which heads up straight to the anomaly over here, where the actual crash ship is. So, um, it's very interesting. Like I said, go into Google Earth, put in Desert Research Experimental Station, comma, Utah. And this is a screen that will take you to. Again, it's showing you that that's where the, the station is, but it's not. That is exactly where the entrance to the, the underground entrance to the crash ship is. So, why Google is giving this information, when Google is obviously in cahoots with the, uh, don't go too far up or you'll lose your ability to find it. And, of course, there's the actual station itself again. Um, again, I don't know. It is uh, there's many theories as to why they haven't still have yet to remove this from the, uh, or, or have, uh, you know, fuzzed out the picture of the actual anomaly. But uh, it's a very interesting. So, again, this is so you guys can find it. Google uh, Earth can be a pain in the butt sometimes, but its images are still fairly, uh, they're still good for, for a cursory level uh, of, uh, of analysis, so go check it out for yourselves, and uh, like I said, very interesting. It does seem to lend uh, credence to the fact that there, that there was a UFO crash here during the 50s. So until the next clip, out.